Hello everybody and welcome back. Today's episode is going to be replacing a watch battery in, well, in my favorite watch. So as you can see here, I have a couple of Timex watches. They are all the basic Iron Man style sport watch. And my favorite one, the battery died, probably because I use the alarm so much. And I really like it because it has a very thin face compared to the others. So I decided to make a video about replacing the battery. Start by removing the four small Phillips head screws on the back side of the watch. These are size 1.0. And you will need a 2016 watch battery, or 2016. Now, learning from Jerry Rig Everything, I kept my screws organized as I took them off. Now, with all of the screws removed, I can simply take off this back metal cover. And underneath, there is the battery that I need to take out, but it's actually covered up by this little sticker. And it says to unlatch to remove battery in the upper left corner. And then in the bottom corner, it says I need to, uh, after I install the new battery, I need to short out the buttons to reset the watch. Now, as I tried to remove this screw over here on the latch, I discovered that my screwdriver was too big. So, I changed the tip. And I put in a small flat blade, and I tried to unlatch where it told me to unlatch there in the upper left corner. And, in doing so, I accidentally removed the whole motherboard. So with the whole watch out, I was then finally able to unlatch that little metal arm that sits over the watch. And once I was able to do that, the battery just slid right out. After I put the new battery in, I carefully relatched the metal arm and put the circuit board back into place. Now, there was a little bit of trouble here because on each of the four corners, there are buttons and there's little tiny springs built into the circuit board that I had to push in while I pushed down on the whole assembly. And that upper left corner gave me a little bit of trouble. So with enough force and leverage, I was able to get it to snap back into place. And just because I'm a little OCD, I put the sticker back on. It's also a good reminder in case I need to replace the watch battery in the future. And of course, I stick the same flat blade into the little hole there that the arrow points to, to short it out to reset it. And before I put the back on, before I put that back cover back on, I check to make sure it's actually working because once again, I've learned from Jerry Rig Everything, before you put the cover on, make sure everything works. And here I'm just reseating the seal, just to try and keep it waterproof. And then put the screws back in. And just like any good auto mechanic will tell you, when you put them in, you need to uh, kind of rotate around. So just like lug nuts, you put them on loose, 
and you alternate your pattern and then you tighten them down in the same pattern. Now once the watch is back in order I can set the time and this watch actually has two time zones but I only need one since I don't travel that much and you get the hours and the minutes and I never really worry about the seconds and then I set the day of the week and then the month and then the day oh yes and I'm weird because I run uh, off of a 24-hour clock like military time just because it's what I do now with the time set I have to set my alarm so every day I get up at 5 30 yay me <clears throat> weekends it's only 6 30 so that's it fairly simple took a couple of minutes relatively cheap and uh Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.